Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. S&P 500 E-mini futures is a daily chart, and what I'm looking at here is the bulls at this point. Lower band through the middle band, closing above the middle band with authority. You know, I said to my subscribers last night, there wasn't a single thing yesterday that the bulls did wrong. The low was 2007 yesterday. We talked about having to establish the weekly pivot at 2008 as support. That was done yesterday. It was never threatened. Around noontime, we traded down to the middle band, and that held as support. And we took off from there. And really, after the middle band was tested, that two-prong test for the bulls that I discussed in yesterday morning's webcast was fulfilled. Weekly pivot, not an issue. Middle band support, the dip buyers come in, now they feel really good, and we go. Didn't close on the highs, closed near the highs, traded as high as 2044, and in the overnight, you know, we're down a couple of handles. We've traded as low as 2033 quarter. You've got the daily pivot and the 45-day pivot sitting down in the 2030 area. That will likely get a test at some point today. Um, I already posted the pivots up at the PrincetonTrader.com website, and they're up on the Twitter feed. Uh, those go up every morning for those of you that are new. Um, I entitled this webcast, The Highs Are the Bulls to Lose, because at this point, having confirmed everything that they need to confirm, they really do need to go after now the upper band up at 2065. Getting to the upper band at 2065 by default will break through both the 54 ceiling and the 62 ceiling and would then open up a move for 2088.75. If the bulls can't make the upper band, they're going to be punished for it. They were just punished for it a couple of weeks ago or last week. Lower band? Middle band, fail. Didn't get there. You don't do retest upper band. You most, most often, you do fail middle band, go to lower band, which is where we were. Um, so at this point, the Bulls have, you know, they've shown their cards. They have to finish the deal. They need to continue to progress steadily up to the new highs. If they don't, especially if they don't get back through 62, it will continue to establish a character change in the market in which even over the longer term, we're seeing highs that can't be broken through. So the bulls are in a good position, but a very vulnerable position right now. They can't take a break. They don't get days off. They've got to keep pushing. Okay. Everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, PrincetonTrader.com. Come check out the chat room. Live charts, audio all day long. Uh, chat scrolls up there, so we're now web-based, and uh, we would love to meet you and help you with your trading. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.